Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you what I've sold on Depop and how I package my orders. These are the things I've sold so far this week and I just want to show you how I'm going to package them. Make sure to follow my Depop, it'll be on the screen and linked down below and you can check out my shop and see all the fun things I'm selling. So far this week I've sold this pair of champion sweatpants and in a bundle I've sold these camouflage pants and this Tommy Hilfiger vest. To ship my products I like to use poly mailers and bubble mailers. I found these off of Amazon for really inexpensive. In all my packages I like to include a little extra goodie bag just so that the customer knows how much they are loved and how much I appreciate and it just shows that you put some effort into your packaging. As the little goodie bag I use these little mini zipper bags from the dollar store. I got like a pack of 30 for a dollar which is super inexpensive and they're the perfect size. I also like to include some candies in my packages and these little business cards I made on Vistaprint. So I'm just gonna put all of the little goodies into the little bag. I've also ordered some stickers too, so once those arrive you'll be getting some fun stickers in your packages along with a business card and some candy. I used to make handwritten notes using these beautiful papers I got from Michaels, but because I've gotten a lot more orders recently, I haven't really had time to write individual notes for each package, so instead I decided to buy some postcards on Vistaprint, and these match my business cards which are really cute, and it's a really cute thank you note. So now that everything's ready, I'm just going to put all of the items into the poly mailer. So I'm going to fold my item really nicely and then put it inside the poly mailer with all the extras. I always fold it and make sure to try and get as much air out as possible so that it takes up less volume. And then I just seal up the bag once everything is in it and it's ready to go. If there's a little bit of excess mailer and then there's some air inside, I like to just fold that over and use some tape to tape it up. This just takes away some of the volume and it just makes it cheaper to ship because it's not as big. So the first package is done and now let's move on to the second package. This package is going to be a lot bigger because the vest is relatively large and very airy, but I'm just going to try and fold it up as best I can so that it can fit easily into the package mailer, especially since it's a bundle, it has two things in it, so it might be a little bit harder to fit everything in, but I'm just making sure to take out some of the air of the vest. See when you push it down, a lot of the air comes up and it makes it easier to fit in the package mailer. So now I'm just putting all my items into the package mailer, just like the first one. Now I'm just adding in the extras and the little thank you note like I did in the last package and sealing up the package, taking out as much air as possible. And now my packages are ready to make some shipping labels. So to make my shipping labels, first I want to take my measuring tape and measure the dimensions. So I measure the length, the width, and the height. And then after I get all the measurements, I write it down in my notebook just so that I have it on paper so that I know exactly what to type in. I'm just going to do that with my second package.
once I have my dimensions ready, I'm just going to measure it. I'm using this little scale I bought from Walmart for about 10 bucks. It was super inexpensive and really gets the job done. I'm really happy with this purchase. So once I'm done getting all the measurements, I just go online to my shipping provider's website. I used Canada Post. And I start to create my package mailers. It's a really simple process. You just type in the address you're shipping to, and then the measurements, and then that's pretty much it. It'll make your shipping label for you. You can either print off your shipping label at home and tape it to your package, or you can go to your local post office and they will do it for you. And that's what I normally do because I don't currently have a printer. Once I'm done making my shipping label, I will then take it to the post office and then ship off my package and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative to you if you have any requests for videos in the future please leave them down below i will be definitely be making more content like this surrounding depop and fashion and online selling for the future thanks again